Oh, hi there! <laughs> it's so good to see you. You're just in time. Why don't you sign in first? If you have already, just pick your name from the list. Welcome to the Blue House. Hello from the small house. Things to do. Fun for you. Howdy from the Big Bear. Want some fun? Here's where. Just for you. All is new in the House of Blue. Lots of room at our house. Catch the moon at our house. Kitchen's here. Bathroom's there. Attic full of stuff here. Pillows full of blood here. <laughs> Just for you. In the house of blue. Oh! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Smells like... Ooh, berries! Hmm? <gasps> it's you! Ooh, have you been walking through a field? Because you smell just like freshly picked berries. <sighs> I love that smell. It reminds me of triple berry pie. Or maybe you smell this good all the time. <laughs> well, come on in. Speaking of triple berry pie... <gasps> Did we hear someone say triple berry pie? Triple berry pie is delicious. Whoa. We love triple berry pie. I love the way triple berry pie feels all warm and crunchy in my mouth. And triple berry pie looks so great. <laughs> Almost as great as cheese. <laughs> Almost. Triple berry pie. No kidding what to see. Mm, triple berry pie. We know what foods we like by the way they taste. We know our friends by sight and by hearing their voices. When we smell or touch a flower, we can tell how beautiful it is. The five senses of taste, sight, hearing, smell, and touch are how we discover things about ourselves and our world. I've got my eyes to look around, a tongue to taste my meal. A nose for smell and ears for sound A body that can feel I've got five senses to bring me the world So it makes sense to me I've got five senses and a world I love To hear and smell and feel and taste and see It's great to smell a berry pie And feel that crunchy crust I hear the door, I see that you've stopped by You wanna taste? You must Cause you've got five senses to take it all in Whatever it might be You've got five senses and one big world To hear and smell and feel and taste and see Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. To hear and smell and feel and taste and see Yep, there's nothing better for the senses than triple berry pie. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you like to make some together? Hey there! Oh, and you too! Come with us to make Pip and Pop's famous, famous clam dip. It tastes delicious! <laughs> I'm going to build a house for Snowbear as a surprise. Do you want to help me? Oh, yeah, you too. Come on, we got three of our favorite songs. Excuse me, Bear. <laughs> Hi, I'm redecorating my mouse hole. Would you like to help? So, what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, I 
Have you been to a horse race? Their hooves pound the ground as they run. Yeehaw! It's great to have a nice coat, or a fur coat if you're a bear, to keep you nice and warm on a cold day. Pip and Pop love clam dip because they like the way it tastes on their tongues. That's what you use to taste with, your tongue. But you probably already knew that. <laughs> I wonder what tasty treats Pip and Pop will put in the bowl to make their famous clam dip. I can't wait to taste Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. So mm -hmm. what are you going to put in it? Oh, things everybody likes to make the best clam dip ever! Yes, sir! Something sweet... Something salty... And of course, no clam dip would be complete without... Something, something sour. sour! Wow, you sure thought of a lot of different tastes! Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Bear... We have a problem... Yeah, we don't know what will make it... Sweet... Or salty... Or, or sour. sour! Hmm, let's see... Mm. Well, green apples are sour... So is a lemon and a white grapefruit. Boy, those really are sour, Bear. Hmm. Oh, hey, could you choose one for us? Whoa! Yeah. Get ready to pucker up, Pop! Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what tastes sweet? Hmm. <laughs> Cupcakes, or cookies, or maybe even a chocolate cake. Whoa, those all sound good, Bear. <laughs> what, what do you think? When I think of salty, I think of things like potato chips, or pretzels, or crackers. Whoa, yeah! Wow. They're as salty as a uh, um, uh, 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 clam at the bottom of the sea! <laughs> you did a good job picking things for Pip and Pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we know what to put in our clam Definitely. Yeah. <gasps> but Bear! We have, have another problem! Yeah, we don't know where, where to, to find them! Hey, why don't you help Pip and Pop find what they need? You just picked up some big blue house berries. We call them that because they're blue and are as big as a house. Uh, okay, maybe not that big, but they sure taste like it. We'll need six bunches of berries for the pie. Look out for them. Luna red berries only grow when there's a full moon, but you can eat them anytime. <laughs> Don't tell Pip you saw me! Hey, let's see what smells so good! Come on! Just pick a path and we'll sniff out clues together. I'll let you know if we're on the right path. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Hmm. What's that smell? Hey! Mmm! <laughs> great! Let's go left! <laughs> Achoo! Some smells tickle my nose, but that's not our smell. Let's go right! <laughs> Let's go right! <laughs> hey! What's that smell? It smells like syrup! Maple syrup! Mmm! -mm. Want to borrow my nose? For another scent search? Let's go right. Hey, what's that smell? Hey. Ah, great, let's go left. Great, let's go left. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Mmm, it smells fruity. Maybe it's something tasty and yummy. Apples! What's your favorite kind of apple? Red and sweet or green and sour? Want to borrow my nose for another scent search? Great! Let's go left! 
Hey, let's go right. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Ew, smelly. Someone must have left out some sour milk. Great, let's go left. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Great, let's go left. Mm. Sure, let's go back. Uh -oh. Let's go right. Let's go right. Phew. Hold your nose. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Let's go right. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Let's go right. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Let's go right. Let's go right. Great, let's go left. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Great, let's go left. Great, let's go left. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Want to borrow mine? Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Hey, hey. Let's go right. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Great, let's go left. Great, let's go left. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. What's that smell? It smells like a springtime garden. It's a rose. Ah, I just love roses. Want to buy? Great, let's go left. Hey, hey. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Let's go right. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Let's go right. Let's go right. Hey, what's that smell? It smells all warm and buttery, like a bakery. <sighs> ah, fresh bread. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to make sandwiches with lots of butter and honey. Want to borrow my nose for another scent search? That's a Oh, that was close, but it still didn't come down. One more You did it! Yeah, now we have something sour for Pip and Pop's famous candy. Big, plump, juicy berries taste so good, especially in my famous triple berry pancakes, and of course my triple berry pie. My bee friends stay busy making lots of honey for this bit to eat. We just picked up some big blue house berries. We call them that because they're blue and are as big as a house. Wow, you've just found some very rare green pond berries. They're rare because Pip and Pop usually eat them before anyone else can find them. Looks like we can make something sweet. There's some batter and some pans. Yep, that's the pan Pip and Pop need. Let's bake it! Ready! Great baking! 
He's always up for a salty snack. I wonder why this trail of cracker crumbs is heading right for Tutter's mouse hole. Tutter, by any chance, have you seen a salty snack of mine around here? Whoa, whoa, you're looking for these crackers, Bear? Oh, no problem! <clears throat> Mm. Uh, I was just using them as, uh, uh bookends. <laughs> That's it. All right! You found something salty! Thank you! This dip is gonna be the best ever! Well, you found something salty, something sweet, and something sour for Pip and Pop. Now it's time to make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. Come on! Pip and Pop will give you directions on how to make their special dip. First, something sour. That adds power! Yeah, what do you think, Pip? Rhymes pretty good. Well, you know you did what you could. <laughs> I think Pip and Pop asked for something else. Put in a tomato. It's better than a potato. Chili peppers will give it some spice. Yes, sir, Pop, that'll be so nice. Something sweet would be really neat. Put the onion on top. It'll give it some pop. And pip. Put the salty thing in the bowl. Remember, you found it in Tutter's hole. Cream cheese will make it thick. Oh. I cannot wait to take a lick! Okay, looks like the dip is done. But Bear, you forgot the most important ingredient, the clams! Whoops, you're right. Add each clam. And our dip will be a grand slam! Now mash it all up with the big fork. and Pop's famous clam dip is done. Let's have them taste it and tell us what they think. Hmm. I like the salty taste, but yeah, I don't like the sweet taste. It's interesting, because you see, I like the sweet taste, but ugh, I do not like the salty taste. Mm. We don't like the sour taste. Oh. That's too bad. What do you think will make it better? Hmm. Well, the next time that we make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip, we will only put in what we both like. Yeah, when it's done, I'll add something salty to my bowl. And I will add something sweet to mine. Yum! <laughs> wow, Pip and Pop found they have different tastes. You've got taste too. Mm -hmm. Just try new foods and discover a great taste you've never tasted before. Hey! Take a look in here! This is a book about the fun you had with Pip and Pop. We'll call it Dip Time. Pip and Pop needed ingredients for their clam dip. You baked up a sweet treat to add to the dip. The sour fruit was high in a tree, but you got it down. A crumb trail led to Tutter's mouse hole and a salty snack. Pip and Pop learned not everyone likes to eat the same things. I put all the storybooks of your adventures in the big blue house right here on my bookshelf. Whenever you want to open one, just come on over and pick it out. Aha! Oh, you're back! Look what I found. 
pie dough for triple berry pie. Mm-hmm. Hey, do you think you could hold on to it? For me? Great! Now let's find the rest of the stuff we need for the pie. If you want to, you can join me and we'll find the things to make triple berry pie. Haha! <laughs> we'll build Snow Bear's house with hard things and soft things and warm things and all kinds of other things too. Let's go! <laughs> Trees are what you listen to favorite song. You want to hear too? I'm going to redecorate my mouse hole and make it more beautiful than ever. Ha, you can come too. Come on. So, what do you want to do? Oh, good. Let's go to the living room. <laughs> Look at all the neat things Ojo has collected for Snow Bear's house. Different shapes and sizes and all kinds of textures. Do you know what a texture is? It's what something feels like when you touch it. Think about what all those things would feel like in your hands. So Ojo, what do you need for Snow Bear's house? Huh, all kinds of things, Bear, and I haven't found them all. I need walls, I need a roof, and I need a doormat too. I have so much stuff to find and I don't know what to use. Hmm. Well, for the walls, you'll probably want to use something hard. What can we find around the house? Maybe pennies, or shells, or wood sticks. Which would you use? Ooh, good choice. Thanks. Now, for the roof. Some folks make roofs out of clay. Some use mud, and some even use tar. What's best? Hey, yeah! That will feel soft and mushy when you first touch it. But then it, when it will dry, it will be good and hard. Now, no house is complete without a doormat. Snow Bear needs something rough. So when she gets visitors, they can scrape their dirt off their feet. How about a nail file? or sandpaper, or a dish pad. Yeah, those are all perfect for Snow Bear's house. Good, Good job. job! You know your textures. Uh-huh. But where do I find all those things? Will you help me? Ooh, you're good at finding things. Where do you think we should start? <laughs> Pip is looking for me. Don't tell him I'm here. It'll be our secret. Luna Redberry's own. I love stories. That's why I have all these books. Do you have a favorite book? Onion, potato chips, chili peppers, potato chips, potato chips, potato chips. You are just so clever to make that match. Cupcake, chili peppers, cupcake, onion, onion, onion. It's a match. You are very good at this. Chili peppers, chili peppers. It's a match. You are very good at this. A pop? Yeah, Pip. Is that a match? Yep, that's a match. Cool. Good job! Cupcake. Cupcake. 
cupcake. It's a match. You are very good at this. In case you did not know, there is no ham in a hamburger. No dog in a hot dog. And no, no peas in, in peanut butter. <laughs> Garlic! Hey, I got an idea, Pop! What, Pip? Let's match things to kind of, you know, taste like each other. Oh! I get it! Like, yeah. uh, lemon? And, uh, grapefruit! Ooh! They're both sour! <laughs> Hard candy! Coconut! Pretzel! Hot sauce! Coffee beans, cupcake, potato chips, pepperoni pizza, cupcake, pepperoni pizza, hard and cupcake. Those two are sweet. Coconut, potato chips, coffee beans, coconut. Ew, that's what I call bitter. Yuck! Pretzel! Potato chips! Those are both so salty that just looking at them makes me thirsty! I match you! You match me! That's because we're family! <laughs> hot sauce! Pepperoni pizza hot sauce! Those two are spicy! Potato ground pepper. Chili peppers. Ground pepper. That's really spicy. Coffee beans. Sugar. Hard candy. Sugar. Ha! <laughs> Those two are so sweet together. Coconut. Pretzel. Potato chips. Pretzel. Those are both so salty that just looking at them makes me thirsty. Oh, hey, Pip! Yeah, Pop? Now, let's match things that are both made from the same food. Oh, yeah, like, like, um, french fries? Oh, and, uh, <gasps> potato salad. Mm. They're both made with potatoes! <laughs> Relish. Applesauce. Strawberry shortcake, applesauce, relish, strawberry shortcake, applesauce, strawberry shortcake, pickle, relish, relish comes from chopped up pickles, french fries, apple pie, strawberry sh applesauce, apple pie, applesauce, if you picked some apples from an apple tree, you can make these. Potato jam, strawberry jam. Strawberry shortcake, strawberry jam. You can tell just from the name that they both have strawberries. I match you. You match me. That's because we're family. <laughs> Potato chips. French fries, potato chips. Did you know both were made from potatoes? Hey, Pop, do you know how to make a banana split? No, how? Give it some legs! <laughs> <laughs> legs, because it'll yeah, leave. Yeah. <laughs> potato chip, block of cheese. French fries, potato chips. Did you know both were made from potatoes? Relish. Macaroni and cheese. Pickle. Relish. Relish comes from chopped up pickles. Apple pie. Applesauce. If you picked some apples from an apple tree, you can make these. Block of cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Block of cheese. 
Their names tell you why these are a match. Wow, you did so well! You got that right, Pip! Yeah. Let's play... AGAIN! Cookies. Relish. Strawberry jam. Applesauce. Strawberry short applesauce. Strawberry, strawberry shortcake. You can tell just from the name that they both have strawberries. Brownies. Cookies. One word matches these up. Chocolate. Hungry 
Hungry Mouse coming through! Don't forget to turn on the glowy spots so we can see! You found the tar! But we need a shovel and pail to collect it. There's one somewhere in the house. An umbrella keeps my fur nice and dry when I go out in the rain. Use one and you'll stay dry too. That's my hat box. I'll bet you can figure out what goes inside it without even looking. You have two bunches of those berries already. You have two bunches of those berries already. Wow! You've just found some very rare green pond berries. They're rare because Pip and Pop usually eat them before anyone else can find them. Good job! You've collected all the berries we need to make a delicious triple berry pie. Mmm, mmm, I can taste it now. I use this barrel to keep things in, like apples, water, and seeds. But sometimes they're good for drumming too. Don't tell Pip you saw me. <laughs> Scales weigh things, like big old bears. Hey, how much do you weigh? Hmm? Oh, you can look through the glass of the door, but don't forget it's there, or you might walk through it and hurt yourself. Scales wait. This bear loves to soak in a nice warm bubble bath. How about you? That'll hold enough tar for Snow Bear's roof. Let's put it in your basket. You have two bunches of those berries already. There should be sandpaper in there somewhere. But it's so dark, you'll have to feel for it. Hmm, 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 hmm. That looks like what we want. Alright, you found a doormat. After a nice warm bath, I like to get my fur nice and dry with a big, fluffy, clean towel. Ah, uh, the toilet. <laughs> it makes the funniest sound when you flush. Ojo loves to cuddle with her soft and furry friend, Snow Bear. I bet you have something special you like to cuddle with. What does it feel like? Stuffed animals are so cuddly and soft, it feels good to hug one. Do you have a favorite stuffed animal? Whee! 
By changing the top, middle, and the bottom of each toy, you can make new toys and new sounds. <coughs> that horn will come in handy if the horse gets in a traffic jam. A drum. Trilo sounded like a siren. I hear a busy bee. Um, I think your pig is ringing. <laughs> Did you hear a car drive by? Doesn't Trilo do great sound imitations? It's a trumpet! <laughs> Just like a bird flapping her wings. I wonder what's in these jars. They're so dusty. Good idea! That rag can dust the jars.
That looks like what we want. Oh, that's great! You found something hard to build some walls. Thanks! A shovel and pail will work just great here. We found the tar. The pail is all filled up. Hey, neat! This will make a really great roof for Snow Bear's new house. Good going! You found everything Ojo needs. You'll be able to build a really strong house, one that's warm and cozy. Let's start with the walls. Add the wood sticks to make it really hard. Ooh, those walls look really, really strong. Thanks. Now, cover the roof with tar. Ooh, look at how strong the house is. Cool. Now let's do the furniture. The little pillow will make a soft bed for Snow Bear. She likes her that silky scarf can be her blanket. She likes things that feel silky. This is Snow Bear's hairbrush. She likes the way it smooths her fur when I brush her. We can use that spool of thread for a table. The doormat is rough. That way it picks up dirt on someone's feet and the dirt won't get into the house. Ooh, the house is almost perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Just one more thing. The doormat says welcome to all Snow Bear's friends. You did such a great job on Snow Bear's house. It's the bestest house she's ever had. Some houses are made of bricks or logs or even grass. And an Eskimo's house is called an igloo and it's made of ice. Then there's the big blue house. The perfect house for a bear and his friends. Snow Bear's got the best house of all because her house was made by her friends. Like you. I can't wait to show it to her. She's going to love it. Really. Bye, Bear. Oh, uh, bye, Ojo. <laughs> you had some very good ideas to help Ojo. What kind of place do you live in? Is it made of wood or steel? Is it one floor or two? Is it an apartment, a house, or an igloo? <laughs> hey! I have something for you. Here's a storybook about your adventure with Ojo. We'll call it Great Builder. Ojo asked you to help her build Snow Bear's house. The jars in the attic had something hard for the walls. You found something mushy in the otter pond to put on the roof. There is something rough from the bathroom that we used as a doormat. You helped Ojo make a terrific house for Snow Bear. Hmm. Ah, hey, it's you again. Guess what I found? A pie cutter. You know, I bet Ojo was going to use it for Snow Bear's house. Lucky for me, she changed her mind. Hmm. Why don't you hold on to it? Good. Now about that pie. Hmm. If you want to, you can join me and we'll find the things to make triple berry pie. What do you want to do? Yeah! To the bedroom! Listen to Trilo's favorite song. <laughs> Trilo loves music. In fact, he loves all sounds. He has very sensitive ears. Some people can hear a pin drop. Trilo can hear it while it's falling. A tape recorder can play so many sounds.
sounds we hear every day. So, Trilo, will you play us your tape? Yeah, Trilo's favorite song. Trilo's going to play us his favorite song. That's too bad, Trilo. I know that was your favorite tape, but you know, there are other ways to make music. In fact, you can make music with things from around the house. Well, hey, why don't you pick some things for Trilo to make music with? First, we need something to keep the beat, like um, a tin can, a glass, or a pot. Which one do you like best? You have! You have Trilo! Yay! <laughs> yeah. And for an instrument, um, how about a flute? Or a guitar? Or a trumpet? Oh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Now, what do we have around the house that sings? Um, a rubber duck, a rubber frog, or a rubber cat? Good thinking! I mean, listening! <laughs> Trilo's gonna make some great music! I think Trilo could use your help finding the music items and making a song. I know! And I know! Where, where the musical instrument is! And we'll tell you when you win Pop Says! <laughs> it's a game! See, we named something for you to pick up. What? You only get it when we say Pop says! Yeah, if we don't say Pop says, do not pick it up. When you get it right, well, five times in a row, we'll tell you where the musical instrument is. Ha! <laughs> Let's play! Pop says, click on a box of crayons. Four more to go. Click on a book. Three more. Pop says click on... A piggy bank. Only two more. Pop says click on... A car. <laughs> Just one more. Pop says click on... A teddy bear. <laughs> Play instrument! <laughs> <laughs> you found it! Yay! <laughs> Pop says. Thanks for playing. Pop says. Those are our toys, but they're floating upside down. Huh? 
Do you hear that? I wonder where it's coming from. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's going on in there. Listen closely and tap the same thing back. Hello, hello! Who is it? It's Bear and a friend. Well, why didn't you say so, Bear? <laughs> Boy, you sure are good at knocking out a beat. Do you want to borrow my homemade drum? <laughs> now it's time to make some music. Let's make a song for Trilo. I'll start humming, and you add sounds by choosing any item you found. <laughs> You're a great musician. Let's listen to the music you made. <laughs> if you want to play your song for Trilo, click on the green button. Oh, bye, Trilo. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how you can find music everywhere? In the pond, in the living room, even here in the bedroom. Hey. Maybe this will help you make music on your own. This is the story of your adventure with Trilo. It's called Trilo's Song. Trilo needed help to make his own music. You discovered a squeaky toy for him in the bathtub.